Okay, mm. another trip to the shops and I think I'm happy with my storage. Let me show you quickly. on a boat and how to optimize the spaces available for it you don't really find a lot of advice or um, information on YouTube or the internet for that matter it's just something to guide you with by and just to give you pointers on what to do so I've come up with a couple of ideas that I'm going to share in this video with you and I hope you're going to find it insightful but first of all um, we shared a, a, a did a an insert of a video that was shared by Paul on Facebook on one of our episodes when we discussed the enclosures and Paul came up with a brilliant idea how to utilize a space um, the first storage underneath storage space on the starboard side the owner's version underneath the floor we had a brilliant idea of um, what to do in there so I'm going to share that again with you quickly and it was actually this idea that inspired me to come up with what I've come up with so let's look at Paul's video. Getting creative with the Leopard 45 storage in the floors. There's the master bedroom. It's a mess I know, but I've been working all day. Okay, and here's the big hole that's normally right in front of it. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay. All right. Two nice, really big trays in here. A lot of storage, very similar to the uh, in the kitchen floor, what we have here. But the beauty of this is we can slide these bad boys open, see? And we have a whole nother layer down there. There's three more. We can take these out, and you have access to all three more down there. So we have a total with the system of five very large storage bins in the floor. There are a lot of these stores all over South Africa that you can get all these bins in all shapes and sizes. The only challenge was to fit these regular sizes into irregular uh, spaces on, on the boat. Okay, so let's start the boat area by area, aft cockpit. Um, in the back here, we've got a gas locker, which is exactly what it's for. It fits two 7 kg gas cylinders. And then on the opposite side of the passage, we have the wet locker that we stow all our diving gear in because, um, as Frick also mentioned in another episode, we've placed our dive compressor under this bench here instead of the life raft, so everything's together. And there's the lithiums and the grab bag. Okay, now we're moving on to the saloon area. We have the three benches there, one, two, and three. That has huge space. Um, the first bench is easy to reach, but the second one is a bugger to reach in underneath. So I tend to store stuff in there that I don't use on a regular basis. And then the third bench is also easy accessible so there you can put stuff in that you need every single day so easy to lift up and easy to get out okay that second area is the galley area underneath the floor there's a b and c storage bases these are very large bins under the floor and you'd be amazed at how much stuff you fit in here I've opted here for bins with lids so if you should stow something that can go off or break or contaminate at least you restrict it to one bin only 
and you can actually fit eight of these in one bin just check it out isn't that amazing so here's what the final product looks like if you can call it that but you'll notice now I didn't even touch on the rest of the cupboards in the galley area so there's enough space for your cups, saucers, utensils whatever you need on a regular basis in a kitchen so it's glasses, electrical um, appliances there is more than enough space for that looking at the port forward area of the the boat so it's the forward cabin and the forward peak let's start with storage on the port side um, I don't know if you can remember obviously in the first one of our previous videos we one of the deciding factors um, buying the leopard was the way they optimized all the storage spaces available so let's start in the forward peak underneath the bed we've opted to put our water maker in this area is um, impossible to describe how large it is. It is the size of the forward peak bed and the possibilities of what you can store in here is endless. Um, so I've got no idea. You can do the bin system here. Anything will work. We've decided to use this one to put our bicycles in. So it is just easier to accessible because this one the mattress actually has a hinge. These mattresses are super comfy, but they are super heavy to flip over to reach in under the beds. So this just makes life so much easier. Flip it over and there you go. If you don't use the forward peak as sleeping quarters, it is a awesome place to store stuff as well. Underneath the bed is also this huge area that you can put loads of bulky stuff in let's move down the passage on the port side we've got a b c and d underfloor storage areas if you look at a you'll see there's a lot of stuff going on there there's levers and filters etc etc so we thought it best to keep this clear of flying objects okay area b um, is where the port bulge pump is located but the dilemma here is the opening through which we reach into. I mean, 260 millimeters is not big. So if you need to get to the bulge in a hurry, you don't want to negotiate any objects through that nar narrow space. Area C, we stuck with the same dilemma with less space at 220 millimeters plus that storage for aircon stuff in that white thing there so that opening is even smaller and as you'll see this is a huge storage area so i guess you can fix hooks onto the side and hang ropes from there so the actual challenge is just to get stuff in or out um, that you limit it with underfloor d um, although there's a lot of pipes and levers and stuff in there, we did manage to put a partial false floor in there. Because the actual entrance to this is big enough so that you can store stuff in there. I've gone for two very large bins that fits in diagonally across the floorboards. So it fills up the space. There's two on top of one another. So nothing can slip through that opening in the false floor all good to go as with all three cabins um, your cabins all have the normal hanging space and drawers under the foot of each bed so I'm not going to go into that as you put your clothes and stuff in there right you won't utilize this space for alternative storage okay let's check out what happens underneath these beds this will be both starboard and port side you see no inch so it's a to lift up there are the the fuel tanks are situated in both the uh, aft cabins so that takes up most of the storage but as you can see there is still plenty space for more stuff that you need to stow that you don't use on a daily basis unless it's not a problem for you to lift the mattress okay these storage areas are situated in all three cabins at the foot of each bed 
and as you can see from the measurements they are quite large so I used again the the bin system and the, this size seems to fit in there the best and as you will see I managed to fit in six of these units in one bin plus there was extra storage space for loose stuff to go in there as well so there's layer number one and then you get layer number two so you just purely lift the one up to get to the other one very simple okay starboard aft cabin same goes as for the port aft cabin fuel tanks under the bed single mattress Okay, now we move on to the starboard passage also the full storage bins but as you can see they are quite wider than the port side so big openings okay so storage number one as you come out the master cabin you can see is massive and there's only one little hose with a lever so we could do a complete false floor in this unit um, there we go with a trapdoor in the middle so that's before and then after you've got it complete fitted out with a false floor and as you can see on the measurements it's big I use these big deep containers for this unit um, as I only use one layer and you can fit six of them in here it's nice to store stuff in there okay the second storage as you can see was also fitted with a full false floor a bit of a weird shape but Derek, uh, Eric did his trick here and I also used the container system here which I fitted five in and the nice bit is you can slide them from left to right to reach to the back unit also good storage space now we get to the third um, space on the floor space as you can see also massive and we also managed to put a full floor in there this is where the starboard bilge pump is situated so you can just lift that little trap door in the middle to inspect the bilge whenever you need to um, I didn't use a, a stack system or a bin system in here as I store my bulk stuff in here big stuff but there's a lot of bins that you can fit in there and I'm sure you're gonna pick the or get the right size to fit there okay the last one as with the port side there is just way too much stuff going on down there so no storage no false floor okay now the space underneath the vanity in the passage um, interestingly enough just catamarans offer a opportunity for you to put a three draw unit in there that looks the same as the balance of the drawers in the in the passage but unfortunately in Cape Town they couldn't accommodate us so we opted for these three plastic three drawer storage units which works okay for us okie dokie last but not least is the forward peak starboard side and you guys won't believe the size of this it is just carried on forever all the way down to the bottom I mean Frick gets down that ladder and reaches up and you can't even reach the top so this is very 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 deep in we've just had some shit right in front of in the peak so you can put tall stuff in there our shade netting is in there you can hang wetsuits in there obviously there's a lot of bins with stuff in it as well spear guns the whole lot so there's really a lot that you can put in mind not to overload your peak so that's about it I think I've covered every nook and cranny on this boat the only two areas that I left out were the two front lazarettes um, the one houses our 800 liter water tank and the other one normally um, houses a gen set which you probably know by now that we didn't go for but we store the obvious stuff in there you know like your fenders and your sails extra sails and lines ropes etc so that goes in there and then the other area that I didn't discuss either was the front cockpit um, under these three benches with all full of storage spaces but Frick is going to handle that in a different episodes when he discusses his tool so as you can guess that is the tool area as well thank you for watching and i uh, hope you took something with you from this video thank you that can't be bad